is going on guys? Thanks for coming back for another Moto Vlog. Today I'm going to be sticking around in town in uh, Rapid City here. I know I usually go out riding in the hills and stuff like that, but I thought I'd give you guys kind of a scenery change a little bit. So we might go up to that hill actually and try to catch a good view. Golly, so many red lights. Anyways, today is kind of a special day. Um, I've been wanting to do something on this channel for a while now. And that's start a series. Um, and not just any series, I want to start a series about engines. And what I'm kind of thinking is this series is going to be a series of maybe 5 to 10 videos. And those videos are going to range from maybe 4 to 6 minutes, somewhere around there. I don't want to make um, a lot of 10 minute videos about certain topics if people are just here to watch the video to get the answer. And so if you guys are wondering what kind of topics I'm going to cover in this series, they're going to be primarily just based around engines. Um, I already kind of have a video up on my channel. Um, I have, and I think it has like 10,000 views almost, it's about horsepower versus torque. And in the video I talk about how the two are related, what are the differences, I kind of try to explain it in terms of how anybody could kind of understand the differences. Oh my gosh, can you like move over at least? There's a sidewalk, man. Alright, seriously. So really the goal of this series is to condense like technical analysis and information about engines and common myths that people might have or questions, whatever. Um, I want to condense it down into a four to six minute video that, you know, anybody could just understand and relate to. Holy cow, Pops. No blinker too? Golly. Here we are. Guys, just sitting up here reading a book. Whew. Oh, nice little view here. Got to snap a little pick. Oh. Holy crap! That is a cliff. That would not be fun. Taking this corner too fast. Whoop. So I hope you guys are semi on board with me doing this little engine series. Um, and if I don't get, you know, if you guys don't want to see it, then I can definitely stop. Um, it's just when winter comes, I'm definitely going to be having a harder time making videos and stuff like that. So I don't know. That that has yet to be seen what I'm going to do during the winter. I'm definitely going to try to put up some quad vlogs and stuff like that in the snow. That's always fun. But anyways, the topic that I... Ooh, Copper! Oh, he's looking at me. So the topic I want to cover today that relates to engines is premium fuel. Um, do you actually get more power out of premium fuel when you put it in your engine versus just regular 87 or 88 gasoline? And a couple other questions I want to answer about premium fuel are, do you really have to run premium fuel in your engine? Um, a lot of motorcycles or some cars may uh, require premium fuel, but why is that? And the last question I want to answer is, is premium fuel actually better for your engine? So first off, I want to define what a premium fuel is. Different states have different regulations uh, regarding premium fuel. The state that I live in, which is South Dakota, requires premium fuel to be at 91 octane or above. Other states require it to be 92, 93, and so forth. The octane rating of a fuel is actually nothing more than um, its resistance to engine knock. It has nothing to do with power at all. Oh my gosh, what have we got going on here? What is this? And that kind of brings me to the first question and or myth that um, premium fuel produces more power. There's a lot of people out there that think a higher octane fuel simply means more power. Oh, I'm going to run, you know, 93 octane in my car. I'm going to get more power out of it. It's going to be faster. And that's simply not true. So naturally, you guys are probably going to ask, well, what is engine knock? Is it bad? Um, yes, engine knock is bad. Engine knock is basically when the fuel in your engine is not burned properly or thoroughly. So I want to explain engine knock um, a little bit further in detail for you guys, but first I want to just hammer down this point. 
Um, so if an engine is knocking and not burning all of its fuel efficiently and thoroughly, um, it's obviously going to put out less power. That's where the myth originates that premium fuel produces more power. So now I want to go into a little bit further detail about engine knock, what it really is and why it happens with um, lower grade fuels. I'm sorry guys, I cannot stay in the city any longer. <laughs> Honestly, I was just getting too hot. I need to get out, have the air moving a little bit. So the reason engine knock happens regarding fuel is because of a thing called auto ignition. And auto ignition is when the fuel actually ignites, it burns before the spark. And you guys might be asking yourselves, well, how the heck is that possible? How does, how does a fuel burn, be if it has no ignition source, how does it burn? It actually burns because of the temperature and pressure inside the cylinder, inside your engine. And when auto ignition happens, when your fuel ignites without a spark, you really don't get um, as much power from it versus um, the fuel igniting from one source, one spark. And so as I was saying, if a fuel ignites from high temperature and high pressure within the cylinder without a spark, well then let's just lower the pressure, right? Let's just lower the pressure in the cylinder and auto ignition won't happen. Well, that is based on the compression ratio of your engine. Oh, sick, dude. That's awesome. And I know some of you might not know what a compression ratio is, and I plan on doing a video that, about that in the future, but you can just Google your engine's compression ratio, whatever you have. Um, likely it'll be between eight and on the very high side, 13 maybe. So now I wanna kinda of connect the dots for you guys. Basically, different engines um, have different pressures that they ignite at, and that's based upon the compression ratio of the engine. Um, high performance engines like a Triumph Daytona, muscle cars, stuff like that, they have higher compression ratios, therefore higher pressures um, inside the engine. Normal passenger cars or even my Raptor 700 ha have lower compression ratios. Dang, that is a dead deer. They have lower compression ratios. I know my Raptor 700 has a compression ratio of 10. So the main thing I'm trying to get at here and the main thing I want you guys to take away from this is if you have a higher compression ratio in your engine, you need to have a fuel, you need to run a fuel in your engine that has a higher resistance to engine knock or auto ignition. So now that answers the question of do you actually need to run premium fuel? It all comes back to your compression ratio. This guy's getting it. And the last one I just want to touch on is the question of, is premium fuel really better for your engine? And the short answer to that is yes. Premium fuel does have a lot more additives in it that are better for your engine that prevent um, auto ignition. Auto ignition is bad for your engine because it leaves a lot of uh, carbon deposits behind and that's just not good for your engine. It, it's not as efficient, you're not gonna get as much power out of your engine with uh, um, carbon deposits in it. I hope I did an okay job with this topic. Um, I really hope none of you are too confused, but I do want to go ahead and just summarize everything I've said um, and kind of clear up any questions that you guys still might have. So premium fuel or high octane fuel means nothing more than it has a higher resistance to engine knock or auto ignition like we were talking about. A lower octane fuel will have a lower resistance to engine knock, which means it might knock in an engine such as a Triumph Daytona 675 with a high compression ratio of 12 and a half. And to kind of hit on the myth that premium fuel gives your engine more power, um, that is true for engines that have high compression ratios because of the fact that uh, a lower octane fuel will auto ignite and not produce as much power. So it's only half true, but in the most part, it's, it's really false. It, that's not really what gives it more power. It's just because um, the higher octane fuel doesn't auto ignite. So really it all comes down to one thing and that's your engine's compression ratio. High compression ratio, premium fuel. Lower compression ratio, you can run any fuel you want. 
So that's going to be the end of today's video, guys. If you have any questions or comments, you can definitely leave them below. Um, I would love to answer them. If you guys did enjoy the video and uh, maybe learned something, definitely drop a like and subscribe below. And I will see you guys next Saturday with another video from my engine series.